This is Twit. Well, this is no countdown either, uh, or dinosaurs on the table, but it is uh, dynamic wallpapers that change at will, as long <laughs> as you want them to change. You can decide to change change them automatically every time you enter in a new Wi-Fi network, or you can have them change automatically every time the sun sets, or you can have them change automatically every three hours in case you just really need some change in your life. Yeah. Smart wallpaper lets you set up wallpapers for different times of your life. Whatever you need, maybe the weather is changing. You can put a picture of a terrible storm that you once witnessed as the background to remind you of the fact that you need to go into the bomb shelter next time there is a hurricane. I don't know anything about hurricanes, so don't mind me <laughs> making this comparison. The nice thing about smart wallpaper. <laughs> It is super easy to set up. So the one that I have going on right now is go back one page, okay. Jason. The one that I have going on right now is the always random image. And that's supposed to do it every three hours. So it's the very last one. And what you could do is give it storage permissions. It has to, you can go through the Unsplash collection, which is a part of the smart wallpaper network and choose from other people's wallpapers, or you can choose your own. You can choose to download full resolution, as you may have seen Jason do on screen. Uh, and once you download a bunch of these, you'll go back to that other screen you were just at and choose it. Okay, so I'll do that, and then I'll go here, and then I'll go there. And if I had a bunch of them, then it would it would randomize through those. Is that right? No, so you're just looking at what it looks like. So go up into the settings button right there. So that's it. You just change the image frequency, how often you want it to change, and you can enable to tap it on screen if you want to change it. You decide that maybe you really hate that wallpaper. You could just do that. If you go back to the main menu, so here you'll see a list of, you'll see a list of what you have coming up in every single category. So let's say you want to go to the weather. Beep. So here you would set different images to show up for when it's clear, when it's partially cloudy, oh. blah, 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 when it's rainy, when That's it's windy. Cool. And then you, you know, maybe it's, maybe you live in San Francisco, so you'd put a foggy one to be this beautiful picture you took of the fog just sort of settling on the Golden Gate Bridge in the mid-afternoon. There's all sorts of possibilities. And if you're feeling really creative and artsy and you just kind of want your phone to have like a different vibe throughout the day, this is a really easy way to do it. And I had been testing it uh, for a little bit and it totally works. So it does change when it says it's going to change connect to a Wi-Fi network. Yeah. So that one you could do it. Maybe if you're going to work, you would have a more like blase wallpaper. And then when you come home, you have the wallpaper with all the curse words on it. Ah, I like it. Right? There you or go. Maybe the wallpaper of some obscene image that you don't want people to know you have is your wallpaper, <laughs> which is fine. Whatever right. you do in to your each home, their own. own. Yeah, exactly. Thing. That's why these apps exist. <laughs> yeah. There you go. There you go. And right on. And it's ad supported, so, you know, but they don't pop up with the wallpaper, which is kind of nice. And you can remove the ads for a small fee, which I think I ended up paying for with, I always forget how much it is because I always end up paying for it, $1.80. Not much to ask to support the developer. Nice. Just Smart wallpaper is smart. It is. It's smart, Michael. It's smart. Smart. Smart, smart wallpaper. Wallpaper.